Hey there, true believers, Pablo Gunner here. And I'm Blacksmith. We are here at Twin Suns, bringing you this week's Red or Green Report. This week we're going to cover two graphic novels instead of the typical mainstream series. Representing the green, I'll be reviewing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Change is Constant, Volume 1. And representing the red side, I'll be taking on some darker material with American Vampire. With countless books and media out there about vampires, how could there possibly be any originality in the genre? Luckily, Scott Snyder and Stephen King are here to breathe new life into the genre with American Vampire. American Vampire sounded like a dream for me. Scott Snyder, the legend himself, teaming up on a book with Stephen King, my favorite author. There wasn't a question about if this book was going to be good, but rather how much this book would knock my socks off. I'm proud to report that this book blew me away. With writing from Master of Horror Stephen King and legendary comic book writer Scott Snyder, this story is truly a unique experience. The story follows a vampire named Sweet, who somewhat mentors a newly formed vampire named Pearl, who journeyed to Hollywood for glamour but found only death. The main story is set in the 1920s, with Sweet's origin story taking place in the 1800s. Snyder and King write both of these time periods very well. While with Pearl's story, I felt like I was in the glitzy, flapper-filled 20s, and King pulled me right into the wild, bandit-ridden world of the late 1800s. Characters and locations are written excellently, and seem to live a life of their own. There aren't many shallow characters in this book, as characters have layers, whether they be the seemingly evil, selfish nature of Sweet, or the cute, gullible mind of Pearl, who turns into a vengeance-driven killing machine. The art in American Vampire fits perfectly with the aesthetic created by the authors, and runs well with the historical period that the story set. Raphael Albuquerque simply kills it on art. He does such a fantastic job of taking the locations and time periods and making them all unique and eye-catching. Characters never seem to have a bored look or feel. You'll always see either a, a sly smirk on Sweet's face, or the terrifying elongated face he makes while opening his jaw for a kill. That's why I love the art so much. While reinvigorating the vampire genre with excellent writing and beautiful artwork, American Vampire is definitely a buy. Growing up as a fan of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I was thrilled to see what this book had in store for us. This is every TMNT fan's nostalgic dream come true. For everybody else, this book is the greatest retelling of the Ninja Turtles origin. The front cover right away tells you that this is a return to the classic Ninja Turtles. For those of you that don't know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were created by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird. Something that Ninja Turtles fans are protective about is the overall look and feel of this art and set pieces. Luckily, this book holds up to our expectations. Kevin Eastman is a mainstay of this book, working on story with Tom Waltz and art with Dan Duncan as well as others. The story is fun, interesting, exciting, and emotionally intense. The Ninja Turtles are all back to their classic color with their red bandanas. The characterization of the turtles is so well done that it's easy to tell who's who, even though they almost look the same. What makes this book truly shine is the classic feel of it that brings both familiarity and new material to the TMNT universe. Most of the main characters are introduced by the end of this book, including April O'Neil and Casey Jones. There's also mention and appearances of classic TMNT villains. This book feels like the director's cut of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles origin story, and I love it. This book is the introduction of a family, friendships, old, and new villains. By the time I was done reading this, I was jumping up with joy yelling, Cowabunga! For every hardcore TMNT fan, there is no better book right now, and if you're a newcomer to the Ninja Turtles, then this is the best time to start. So even if you're not a comic book reader or fan, this book is a must-buy. We'd like to thank Twin Sons for having us today, and remember, red or green, turtles or vampires, there's a flavor of comic out there for everyone. 
Stay classy, planet Earth. Growing up as a fan of Teenage Mutant Tur Ninja Turtles, I was thrilled to see what this book had in store for us. Oh, do sorry, I'd get really into it. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, 